Hello guys, welcome to the channel phone man. Yes, in today's video, we are going to compare the Vivo V25 Pro versus the IQ90. So this is the 12GB 256GB variant Sunrise blue color and this is the 12GB 256GB legend color. So guys, let's start from the build and design of these two phones. So the Vivo V25 Pro comes with 8.6mm and meanwhile, this comes with 8mm the IQ90. And if you ask me about the weight, actually 206 grams for the IQ90 and just 190 grams for the Vivo V25 Pro. And if you ask me about the in-hand feel, I felt the Vivo V25 Pro is really good because the, actually the back panel just blends to the frame as well as it has got a 3D curved display which also blends to the same frame so that makes the Vivo V25 Pro a really good in hand feel but the thing is the protection of the Vivo V25 Pro is not mentioned while the IQ90 is getting Corning Gorilla's 5 protection over here so guys if you ask me which one is best in terms of the curved display I like the Vivo V25 Pro and in terms of the protection scenarios I, I would go for the uh, IQ90 because of the CG5 and all. Now let's talk about the displays. So both these displays are the 120Hz refresh rate. See, really smooth and fluidic on both these new devices, no issues. And both are full HD displays. And let's uh, check a video and let's compare. So guys, the displays, View V25 Pro and the IQ90. And you can see both are excellent displays, excellent viewing angles, excellent color contrast. At a glance, I couldn't tell a difference between both these displays. So you can see the red color is a bit more deeper over here, I think so. And now it seems almost same on both. So guys, few scenarios I've seen that the red is getting a bit more deeper. That means especially the RGB colors, you can see the red is very vibrant over here versus a light pale color on the Vivo V25 Pro. So guys, almost a 70 to 80% of scenarios, both are almost the same, but in slight uh, situations the IQ90 performs slightly better that means in terms of the color contrast IQ90 is slightly better but the thing is the, with the uh, Vivo V25 Pro is a curved display as you can see so under 50k segment that means in just 40k you are getting the curved displays if you ask me the IQ90 55k for the 12GB 256GB still gets a, a flat display you can see Okay, so the 3D curve display. So if you're really into 3D curve display, then I would say the Vivo V25 Pro uh, would be really good. And if you ask me, there is a worth mentioning difference between these two guys, then it's a no from me. But if you observe really close, then you could find about two to three percent difference between these type of displays. And uh, it's a subject to you. In my personal preference, I would pick the Vivo V25 Pro because of this curve displays. Anyways, it's purely subjective. So that's it. Now let's move to the audio. So guys, next is the audio. As per the specs, you obviously know that the you would say the IQ90 is the clear bin, it has got the dual stereo speakers, loudness, everything would be really nice for the IQ90. That's the specs conclusion. And regarding this, has just got a mono speaker versus dual stereo speakers for the uh, IQ90. But here is a surprise for you guys. I would play the audio or first on the IQ90. Get ready to get surprised. Now, view of V25 Pro. <laughs> See, just a mono speaker. Again, IQ90. We are doing the bro. So it's a thumbs up from in terms of the audio for the Vivo V25 Pro. I never expect that much of loudness and in terms of the surround experience also I'm getting a bit but it's not up to that of the stereo speakers as we're getting from the dual direction but it's still it's really uh, nice with a mono speaker and the Vivo did an awesome job and I would say uh, it, in, if you're asking for a loudness I would say the Vivo V25 Pro is the clear winner but actually in terms of the overall that means the elements the high pitch low pitch bass the quality of the audio was slightly better for the IQ90. So in terms of my personal preference, I would go for the IQ90 uh, for the uh, audio quality. But if you are looking for the loudness, then you can definitely choose the Vivo V25 Pro.
So Ace Next is obviously the processors and I'm not comparing side by side because it's a heavy powerful chip on the uh, IQ90 and even I just compare with the Dimensity 8100 Max which is present on the Oppo Reno 8 Pro and you can see the scores I just will opening the Odin 2 on both of them and you can see the scores which is uh, approximately 9,52,000 versus in the Dimensity uh, 8100 Max it was just getting 6,75,000 so this is Dimensity 1300 with the 6 nanometer uh, over here versus this is having the Dimensity um, 8100 with the 5 nanometer so anyways that's not a direct comparison in that terms you can directly for the gamers everything because of the gaming triggers and all in terms of performance you can just directly pick the iq90 but if you are looking for an overall nice uh, stable uh, phone then the iq90 uh, occasional gamers and all the um, vivo v25 pro would not be having any issues it has got the bionic cooling 40 game vibration everything it has all sold but in comparison it's a clear win clear win for the iq90 now let's look at the main thing that's the cameras so if you ask me the main camera is 64 MB OIS camera, then we are just getting 8 MB ultra wide and just a 2 MB macro. And over here, here we are getting a main uh, 15 MB camera, then we are getting a 12 MB telephoto, and then we are getting a 13 MB ultra wide. The 12 MB telephoto is, I think, exclusive in the segment for this uh, IQ90 because the OnePlus 10T just have this almost got the same spec as this guy because it just got a primary camera, then an 8 MB ultra wide and 2 MB macro. So, this guy is really good in terms of that camera specs and all, as well as the camera output. So, guys. Let's and uh, in terms of front camera, it's having a 32B versus 16MB. And in terms of front camera, I would say the Vivo V25 Pro is doing an excellent job versus a normal, decent, average front camera on the IQ90. Anyways, now let's look at the rear camera samples. So, guys, first of all, let's start from the ultra wide. So, this is the ultra wide comparison. And in terms of the ultra wide, just 8MB versus a 13MB ultra wide. Obviously, this is better. You can see uh, more details and the color cross is a bit more uh, good on the IQ90. So, in terms of the ultra wide, that's a clear win for the IQ90. But when it comes to the main camera, the things get slightly changed. Uh, it depends on uh, different different scenarios. If you observe the sky, actually the sky is almost uh, close on both of them. You can see. But if you observe the coconut trees over here, actually some areas are, uh, you can see, underexposed over here. You can see yeah, the coconut leaves are not exactly uh, properly visible on this IQ90. But on the Vivo V24, it's perfectly visible, which each and every element is properly visible at all. So you can see the difference. You can spot over both of them between. So in terms of the main camera, I really like in that shot. And now let's look at another shot. See guys, here also the same thing repeats. If you uh, take a look on both of them, see these areas is completely unexposed over here. See, but it is properly visible, proper visible with a uh, uh, really good amount of quality on the Vivo V25 Pro. So that was surprising. Actually, I do take multiple samples to verify these scenarios. And actually with the One X, I took multiple samples and all the scenarios uh, seem to be in the same conclusion itself. And another shot. So you can see exactly the same scenario. It's perfect on the Vivo V25 Pro versus a might light issue for the uh, icon. And I won't mention this as an issue because it's obviously a struggling situation because the light comes directly from the uh, top and actually it's a bit struggling situation but surely because of software updates it would be getting improved but at this current time the vivo v25 pro is yeah, doing a great job and uh, the main thing i think something is going on with the after processing because at the initial glance that i uh, took picture with just and actually before processing actually the image is really bad even worse than this but after the processing it's get really good on the vivo v25 pro anyways thanks to the dimensity 1200 it has done a great job and let's look at a few more samples now the macro camera so you know this is the macro camera that means 13 mb ultra wide is using acid um, macro also so that's a clear clear win for the uh what we call iq90 versus it's, it's just a 2 mb camera and it's not getting enough quality enough detailing at all so that's a clear win for the in terms of the macro for the uh, iq90 now the next case with the portrait photo that means the flower flowers so the vivo v25 pro takes the flowers to a bit more vibrant colors you can you can really look at these flowers and uh, you can see the difference if you ask me which one is really close to nature 
yes this is exactly the color of the flower but actually this gets a bit more vibrant actually it's a bit or i wouldn't say it's over processed it bit more processed than that of iq90 so in my personal preference i do like the iq90 portrait shots and actually it has a ton of variety of shots on the iq90 and uh, as well as the vivo v25 but in terms of the portrait photos because of the telephoto and all the iq90 performs slightly better than the vivo v25 pro especially because of that telephoto is the one of exclusive thing so another scenario while, while I'm holding my phone, you can see. So both takes really nice shots and I could have, didn't even compare both of them. In this scenario, actually, I think uh, the IQ90 is uh, slightly uh, better or I would say Vivo V25 Pro. Anyways, we can't uh, sell, uh, tell a clear win in terms of that. Now let's check the video stylization on both of these two guys. Okay, so so the IQ90 was definitely a uh, winner in terms of the video stabilization. So each and every scenario is uh, one one win for the Vivo V25 Pro, one win for the IQ90. So in conclusion, I would say uh, the normal one neck shots, I felt it's slightly better on the Vivo V25 Pro. Apart from that, almost all the scenarios were slightly better on the Vivo IQ90. See one more shot and this shot again. Now <laughs> that means its scenarios are switching in between as we already seen that flower uh, thing and I, 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 I was saying that the Vivo V25 Pro uh, turns the color to be really vibrant but the IQ90 uh, takes the exact color in the portrait one but that's not in the case with the normal photos. Actually normal photos V25 Pro takes the natural colors and the Vivo V25 Pro takes to the next level. You can see the color sharpness and actually but the color sharpness it's getting digital and really beautiful on the IQ90. So overall I would say uh, if you're really into front cameras as well as the normal shots are more important than the ultra wide macro portraits and all then you should choose the vivo v25 pro and if you're really into the ultra wide portrait uh, the videos and uh, uh, similar type of stuff then you should choose the v uh, iq90 okay now regarding the battery and charging i would say uh, the Vivo V25 Pro has uh, 4830 mAh of battery with 66 watt of charger within the box it's included and over here 4700 mAh with 120 watt charger so that charges really rapid I have actually already done OnePlus 20 versus IQ90 charging speed test and also you make sure you check out that too and let's check the star values uh, star hash 07 hash Okay, 1.19 and 1.19, the, so head is uh, same on both of them and 0 0.88 on the Vivo V25 Pro for the body and 1.24 for the body on the IQ90. And these two phones by default have the Google dialer, but you can just enable the uh, Vivo dialer by dialing star hash star hash 5566888. Star hash star. So you can see enable alternate phone and contacts. You can just enable Vivo Dialer for the both these phones. The Vivo Dialer would be enabled. And now for the final verdict, which is best? So uh, 40k for the uh, uh, Vivo V25 Pro and 55k for the uh, what do you call the IQ90. So that's not really in direct comparison. So if you're worth spending the money for the IQ90, then it's obviously fine. But if you're within the budget of the 40 and if you're trying to purchase a nice phone, then you can directly choose this uh, VV25 Pro. And I would be doing a comparison the, with the IQ90 and the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. Also, this uh, Vivo V25 Pro versus the Oppo Reno 8 Pro, which is the excellent direct competitors between both of them. And uh, so, guys, that's it for today. Signing off. It's for mania.